Once you have a trade that's filled, where does it go? Well, in Tradier Pro, it goes to the portfolio page. That's where all your open inventory lies. It's all in here. Now, there's three different views in portfolio. There's a flat view. And if you hold your mouse over them, it'll tell you flat view. Think Excel spreadsheet. Nothing fancy in the flat view. Um, every column is sortable in this flat view. That's the bonus of having this. The next view, we call it the tree view. If you left click on it, what happens in the tree view, okay, is it alphabetizes your stocks. And then underneath each stock, you can tree down or drill down into the components of Apple, for instance, or in this case, I have Tesla open. So you can see all of the options and stock trades, if you have stock trades, in that um, heading uh, in the tree view. The last view is what we call the custom view. Now, the strength of the custom view is for you spread traders who trade multiple spreads in the same month. In the tree view, what will happen is if you have a bunch of options that are all different spreads in the same month, they all clump in there together. What custom allows you to do is go down and choose the ones that you want by left clicking in the select box, coming up top to the lightning bolt icon and creating a new group, naming it and creating it. Now I've done that in a couple spots, right? So I won't do it again, but you can see that I've named a couple of things. I've got a Tesla iron condor, another Tesla iron condor, and a Tesla iron condor with a week to it. You can name these anything. It's really powerful, okay? I spend most of my time in this tree group because it's very organized, okay? Now, how do you close these trades? Everyone always asks me, how do you get, how do you get out of these things? First of all, know that each one of these columns is configurable. You do that in the settings page. Okay, you can choose your columns. You can get all the Greeks and all that sort of thing. Um, lightning bolts are always your friend. Make sure you choose them. I highly recommend your PL calculation being midpoint. Um, that's just a little convention that I use. That way you don't get in trouble. Last trade will give you the last trade. So if it, that option hasn't traded in weeks, you're going to get a pretty bad price. So that's why we use midpoint of the market. PL columns, you have value and cost. Okay. Um, those are very helpful. We don't have to do any math. We will tell you your PL. Green is obviously positive numbers. Red is obviously negative numbers. You can see the little negative sign out front. Now you can see that I have this Tesla spread on in the quantity. I've got 50 trades, 50 spreads here. This is probably some sort of iron condor that I have. Days to expiration is 23. Now, if I want to close this spread, okay, at once, there's a little ticket icon that pops up to the left of the expiration month. Left click it. What that will do is it'll send all the legs in one click to the ticket in its closing form. Notice it says buy to close, sell to close, et cetera. Make sure it says that. Should not make a mistake. You never have to think about this on Trader Your Pro. We do it for you. So great. Now I have the closing trade in here. I decide on my prices. I adjust accordingly. Do not have to close them all. Don't forget in your multiplier box, if I want to do fewer than 50 contracts, let's say I want to only close 10, just type in 10 in one spot. That's the multiplier box for spreads. It will show you that you are closing 10 spreads total, okay? So you can do any part of that. The other thing you can do, let's pretend that I only want to close part of this entire spread. Let's just say the call side. You can see the little Cs here that represent calls. So an easy way to do that is to left click on the quantity itself of the option in question that you want to close. Notice I've done that on each of the calls. It sent the closing legs to the ticket in its entirety as well. So I'm just closing the call side of that. So you can either do the whole spread using that ticket icon, or you can pick and choose by clicking on the quantity. One last thing before we go, you can use the lightning bolt beside any of the options and you can roll that particular option you can trade that option without sending it to a ticket by hitting trade and closing it at the bid, mid, ask, or market. Or you can send it places. You can send it to towers. You can send it to the option grid, to watch list, et cetera. So it's a super great, powerful feature, this portfolio page. is a lot of opportunity to close trades once you have them on. For more great information, click the resources tab at tradier.com. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to take some time to read the disclaimer. Thank you.